is up YouTube. So you want to build the motor of a Sun TC? You want to know how much mine cost? All right, uh, but this is kind of like the engine parts, like pistons, rods, all that good stuff. And then I'll get into how much the actual you know, machine work and all that stuff is going to cost me, roughly. Um, okay, so I have another separate video of all the parts that I have, have collected throughout this time. Um, and hopefully I can link it up right here. Check that out if you actually want to see the parts. Uh, instead of me just reading them out to you. All right, so the first one is the ARP head studs. Those were 194. Next are K1 rods. Those were 382. Next, we have the wide scope pistons, the 89 millimeter bore, nine to one compression ratio. Those were 500 bucks. Injectors, I got some 550 cc injectors. I got a good deal from my builder uh, for 200 bucks. The OEM gasket kit, 384 bucks. ARP main studs, 195. ACO bearing kit, 195. Vibrant manual boost controller, 100 bucks. BC racing springs and retainers, 328 bucks. Clutch masters stage three, 200 bucks. That I got a deal from my friend Daniel. Um, OEM throw out bearing, 90 bucks. Wabro 255 fuel pump uh, with installation kit. It's from 100 to 120. I just had 100 bucks. Uh, one of the things that I, I really wanted to pick up, and I'm fortunate that I have the budget to get it, was the 2002 to 2009 the Camry manual transmission. Basically, longer gears compared to the. Scion TC transmission and it's a lot stronger in my opinion uh, for 40,000 miles on it I got it for $712 then I got the energy suspension master bushing kit that was 225 bucks the P tuning 3 inch turbo bike exhaust 200 bucks from my friend Daniel picked it up from him uh, next thing that I I really needed AM EMS4 for 400 bucks. Uh, the Boom Slang plug and play harness that I had to pay myself brand new 600 bucks. So in total, I paid for all those parts $5,005. Fuck, that's a lot of money. You clean and machine 20 over resurfacing deck slash head. This is the only one that's like subject to change. It might be cheaper, it might be more expensive uh, for the block and all that stuff, the resurfacing and all that good stuff, but he gave me a price of 600 bucks. Now that is subject to change, keep that in mind. Uh, the cut the valves, resurface, or re, no, reface the valves, polish cam journals, install BC springs, uh, springs, set valve lash, port and polish, that is 600 bucks. Grand piston rings, polish, polish crank journals, test inspect oil pump, test inspect inspect all timing components. That was a hundred bucks. Okay, balancing or balance rotating assay, delete B shafts, timing, oil pan modification, blueprint, everything. That was a thousand three hundred and fifty bucks. Turbo kit install, custom fabrication. Vacuum, booze, AFR, all the all the gauges he's going to install. I have a gauge pod, so he's gonna wire everything, install everything. Uh, oil pressure, oil temp, I got some of those gauges too. That was a thousand two hundred and fifty bucks is what he quoted me for. Engine break-in slash installation, all new fluids, clamps, etc. With uh, he gave me a six hundred and seventy dollar discount because I'm getting my motor built with my friend Daniel, which is another Turbo TC guy. He's getting his uh, head built and whatnot. Uh, but I got a discount because of that. And that, that includes all the fluids like oil, the first oil filter, an oil change. He's gonna break it in. Dyno. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna make me a base map so I could just drive it to the dyno and get a dyno tuned. All fluids, like I said, oil, coolant power steering everything 
is I have smart plugs everything. I'm not gonna have to do shit, which is what I really wanted to do. And total of all of that, like I said, it, it can be subject to change. Could it be cheaper, could get some money back, could it be more a little bit more expensive because he doesn't have control over the machine shop. He has a machine shop he trusts and goes to, and they're the ones that set the price. So, but in total for all of that work, it is going to be five thousand a hundred and fifty dollars. Damn. Okay, now for the grand total of the parts and the, the work, I guess you could say labor and stuff, it is going to be ten thousand a hundred and fifty five dollars, which I've already paid everything, like the parts already they're mine, and I already paid uh, Jeff from Jeff Tech Performance, I already paid them um, all this for the actual labor and all that stuff. Uh, in total, I've paid a, a, $10,155. Jesus fucking Christ. That's a lot of money. Well, for me. I'm a broke boy, so. Uh, but yeah, that's so much I'm paying for the build. Um, with, it's coming within the next weeks, hopefully. I'm speaking to him already as it is. Uh, he's finishing up some cars and then getting everything ready for my car. Uh, cars. Uh, another thing people ask me is how much power I am trying to reach. So, in previous videos, I said I wanted to reach 500 wheel. I know the clutch isn't going, the clutch that I currently have, waiting for the build, uh, is not going to hold 500 wheel. I, I, I doubt it can hold all that much torque. That is what I wish I could have at the end. Like, I know the motor is gonna build, be built to make six, 700 wheel reliably, but I'm not trying to push that car because I, it's a street car. I don't, I don't have the tires. I don't have the axles. I don't have the LSD. And I don't have the, the coilovers to, you know, aid with all that. Cause that's a lot of power. So for now, I just, I'm just trying to reach 400 wheel, 450 if, if, if possible. But at least 400, that'd be insane. That'd be, that'd be dope. That's. But I mean, if I make less, it is what it is. That's, I'm only limited by the clutch. The motor is gonna be built to make more, like I said. Is that a C8? What the fuck? Damn. Okay, then I thought. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be built and everything to make a lot of power, but I'm not gonna be able to use none of it because if, I, if I'm, let's just say I do mm, try to make 500 wheel, first and second gear are gonna be pointless. Let's just, just be honest. Unless I have like midi tire set up, and even then, spinning ain't winning. You know, feel me? Like, so I'm just trying to make power, like enough power, where I can hook with the way my car is set up right now, and then eventually, you know, start upgrading little by little, little by little. You know, get the LSD. You know, get you know some some coilovers so I could you know stiffen up the suspension on the front and the back. You know, um, get meteor tires, which. Eventually is one thing I have to do and it's just the process. So I'm not trying to rush it So I'm not trying to make that much power because I'm trying to actually use the fucking car. I'm not just trying to You know have it in the garage parked and not do anything I'm trying to actually drive it even though I have a daily uh, Which that's another question people ask me why the hell did I get the camera? I said why didn't you get something cheaper? And I said you know what I want something you know comfortable I want something you know that, that moves and for it is a V6, so it, it does have some power. And I'm not saying it's fast, but it was just, it, it moves for what it is. It's a fucking camera. It's heavy, but I mean, it's a nice car. And that's why I got it. I'm not trying to get a manual either, because I already have a manual. And I, I'm not trying to deal with traffic and whatnot. But yeah, so hopefully, if you guys had those questions, uh, other people did, and they wanted to know, so now I have it on the video. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments. Hopefully you can find me on Instagram. If not, I, I try to put it under Facebook or whatever. I had some people reach me out on Facebook. Uh, if you have any questions of anything else, I mean, hopefully this clears up what's going to happen with the motor. And it, it, it might take a while, don't, don't get me wrong. That's one of the things people ask me how long, when it's gonna happen. Hopefully in three weeks, I can drop off the car to get it built. Uh, with all COVID shit, the whole machine shops are, are, are pretty packed. Believe it or not, according to my uh, my builder Jeff, 
Uh, it could take from anywhere four weeks to six weeks, I believe is what he said, to get the, the car back. And that's not with the car, you know, done. That's still have to, I still have to take it to the dyno. And, you know, before I get the car back, Jeff wants to do an inspection. Like, he wants to run it, make sure the car, everything's good. He's not going to give it back to me until the car is, like, he believes that it's 100% ready to go. And he just hit the dyno and then have some fun. Uh, but until then, you know, the car is right now is at home, going from SD back to AZ. Uh, but it's at home, just chilling, waiting, collecting dust. But it is what it is. Uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Let me know. See you guys.